Back. Welcome back after that very short break. Sorry about that. Um, lots to learn here between the two of us um, with everything going on. So, um, continuing on, uh, this is page four of your syllabus. So, like I was saying, we cover some very serious topics um, in this class. It is important that you take those topics seriously. We are not making fun of, we are not being crude. Um, our class discussions need to be appropriate um, for the class setting, all right? Take the temperature of the room, essentially. Um, so, um, you need to make sure that you get your syllabus signed. How you do that is you can have your parents email us. Our email is at the um, top of the very first page there. Um, that, and just basically saying that they uh, understand the syllabus, they understand that we'll be watching rated R movies, that's a big part of it, they need to understand that we're going to be watching rated R movies and send us an email saying that they um, essentially understand that and that they have um, our permission to show those to you. Alright, those of you who are taking this for an English credit, some of you may be taking this um, as just social studies. Some people are taking it as both a social studies elective and an English credit. Folks, this is a full English credit. It is going to be so good if you can do both. I highly, highly encourage it. Mr. Searcy highly, highly encourages Absolutely. it. Why not hit two birds with one stone, right? Yeah. So, you have this lovely portion that you need to read over. You must read over this. I'm going to briefly go over it. You need to read it word for word and really chew on what it's asking you to do, okay? So, Mrs. Bailey's Holocaust Revisited English Credit Contract, all right? I would like, um, if you are taking this for Holocaust and English, there needs to be two parts to your parents' email saying that they understand um, the Holocaust part, they understand the English section, the English credit as well, okay? So, <clears throat> you are taking Holocaust Revisited for either English 11 or English 12. By doing so, you understand that you have to do additional assignments that require you to work outside of class. Guys, it says outside of, cli outside, um, a, a class assignments. I'm not asking you to do brain surgery here. Trust me. It's really not that bad. So, we're going to go over it in more detail uh, when it comes time here in about a week and a half. All right? Um, but... You're going to have three novel studies. So all I'm asking of you. And so three out of the four quarters, you're going to be doing a novel study. Um, those of you who are online, you are in luck because um, the library is currently working on getting online books for you. How awesome is that? You get to choose which book you want to do. That is where the freedom comes in. You get to choose a book that you want to read. Now, it has to cover the Holocaust, though. It has to talk about the Holocaust. Um, so, students will be reading a novel and working independently and purposefully. Students will be working with tic-tac-toe choice boards. So, I'm going to give you a tic-tac-toe board. It's going to have nine different projects on it for you. And they're all project-based. So, this will give you the opportunity to participate in multiple tests that allow you to practice skills you've learned in class to demonstrate and extend your understanding of the concept. So this is just taking what we've learned in class, right, taking that social studies aspect and putting it to a story so you can understand that story better, so you can understand those characters better because you know what they're going through, right? You've studied that. Um, so every quarter, except for the second quarter, you're going to have a book to read. Um, and you choose that book out of, um, and you'll get it approved. All right? So first quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, your teacher will provide a list of acceptable books for you to choose from, both fiction and nonfiction, are included on the list. You must have your book and project picked out within the first week of the quarter. I'm going to give you a little bit um, into the second week here to get your book together. Um, we're going to be going down to the library. She's going to be doing an awesome presentation for us about the books. Um, and you're going to pick out that book. Okay? Then you're going to do, you're going to have the whole um, eight to nine weeks to do that book. To read that book, to do that project. Um, 
I'm going to have to have you turn in your project about a week before the quarter ends so that I can get them graded and get them into progress book before the quarter ends. This is the only extra thing that I'm asking you to do for the English credit is just read one extra novel a quarter, except for the second quarter. There's one book that we all read together and it's great, it's awesome. It's called The Book Thief, so something to keep in mind. Um, so understand that you are responsible to turn in all your assignments by the due dates given um, or that you jeopardize your opportunity to complete the English credit. Um, late work will not be accepted. Okay, um, and if you feel that you are falling behind, if you are having issues, like we've said before, open communication, you've got to talk to us, otherwise we don't know what's going on with you, okay? Um, so understand that if you do not fulfill these additional requirements, if you do not read an extra novel and complete um, a tic-tac-toe project, understand that it's going to be very difficult for you to pass the English credit part. Not necessarily, you can pass the social studies part and still fail English. So understand that. Um, so it will show up on your transcripts as a failure in English, but um, as an acceptable grade for social studies possibly. So please understand that your parents, they need to send back the permission, or uh, not send back the but email us the permission slip for um, the Holocaust social studies part and the English part, as well as the rated R permission slip that you see on the back here, okay? So one of the primary concerns of educators teaching the history of the Holocaust is how to present horrific historical images in a sensitive and appropriate manner. Please know that we will use our discretion when deciding which pictures, videos, and movies to show in the class, but that everything we use in class is for education, right? It's for education for you. We want um, you to gain as much understanding as you can in this time period, all right? So we need you um, to get your parents to email us all of this good stuff. We've got um, a little bit of what they should be responding with online, so if your parents are having a hard time um, typing it all up, it is there for them as well. Mr. Searcy, anything else? I don't have anything else necessarily to add related to the syllabus. Um, we're happy to have you guys. Um, uh, we look forward to um, teaching you guys this uh, quarter, and we hope that uh, you guys get a lot out of the class. Uh, we know that um, um, times are strange, for lack of a better word, but um, uh, they're strange for us too. So um, we're going to learn, adapt, and uh, grow through this together. And um, and we and um, hopefully we'll have a good time doing what we're doing it. Yeah, and and we've been teaching this for three, three years. years, three years together now. So we have really great communication back and forth. So um, make sure that you're contacting us both throughout um, everything that you're going through at home. Um, we're, we're very understanding people. We um, so if you have any issues, you you talk to us. All right, we, we hope to see you soon. We hope to see you online. Um, we're going to have lots of opportunity for people to be discussing. Um, there's a couple ways that we can all see each other through things like Flipgrid, all that good stuff. So uh, we're looking forward to getting to know you guys, um, to understanding your lives, and uh, ultimately understanding the lives of um, the people who went through the Holocaust. All right. Auf Wiedersehen.